Hey, I'm uh, Pastor Watson Jones III, and I have the privilege of serving as a senior pastor of Compassion Baptist Church on the southeast side of the city. And I'm so delighted to be able to share some reflections from the Lord's word with you today. As you think about the reality, the journey you've come, we have now come to day 20 of this time of fasting and prayer. And I want to raise up a scripture from Psalm uh, 81. And it says this, I, verse six and following, it says, I relieved your shoulders from the burden and his hand was freed from carrying the basket. And I called out, you called out in distress and I rescued you. I answered you from the thundercloud and I tested you at the waters of Mirabah. Verse eight, listen, my people, and I will admonish you, Israel, if you would only listen to me. Uh, verse 10, I am the Lord, your God, who brought you from the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide. And I will satisfy you. But my people did not listen to my voice. Israel did not obey me. So I gave them over to their stubborn hearts to follow their own plans. Again, if only my people would listen to me and Israel would follow my ways. Verse 14, I would quickly subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their foes. Verse 16, but he would but he would feed Israel with the best wheat. I would satisfy you with honey from the rock. The psalmist is admonishing the people of God to praise the Lord because of his strength and his goodness and his triumph as their God. And he specifically reminds them of what God did to bring them out of captivity from Egypt. And then he says something very striking that I want to raise up for you for just a few moments or really a moment here. He says, if only Israel would listen to me. When we hear this passage, we actually get a lens into the heart of God, that God at the very core of who he is didn't merely save you so that you could just be a servant who just does all the time or a person who feels like they have to perform for the Lord. But at the heart of God, God desires relationship with you that you might listen to him. Not just as he barks orders in a dictatorial kind of form, but that he might bless you. He says he says in verse 10, open your mouth wide and I will fill it. God actually wants to bless you. And here in this time of fasting, God gives us a moment to tune our ears to hear him, to actually listen to the Lord in in his word and and to sense his movement by his very spirit and what you will find is that God wants to be heard. He's a God who's heard us, but he wants us to hear him. And in our hearing him, we will find that he would satisfy us, verse 16, with honey from a rock. He will give us the blessings that only he can give us because God absolutely wants to satisfy you. Open your ears to hear him in this little bit of time of fasting. Listen, we're really excited about this time of fasting and prayer. I hope to see you tomorrow at 5 p.m. at New Life Southeast with the Chicagoland United in Prayer as we close out this time of fasting together. God bless you.